X-Ray Ed, back at you with some technical information. One of my students the other day was asking about marker placement and where was the best place to put a marker. And in the book it'll tell you for most images it'll say upper left hand corner, um, you know, lower right hand corner, somewhere in the middle. It just depends on what it is you're trying to image. But regardless of where your marker is supposed to be located, you want to make sure it's visible on your final image. Okay, so that's what we're going to be talking about because sometimes we might have a marker on the film, um, you know, and if it's outside the collimated field, it may or may not show up depending on your imaging system. So let me show you what I'm talking about right over here. Okay, so here is just a piece of junk lumbar spine. This is not a radiographic model, it's just one that we have, um, you know, that just shows where the nerves are and the nerve roots. Um, you know, it's like a little teaching model, but it's not necessarily designed to be x-rayed. But, it, for our purposes, it'll work. Let me show you this. Okay, you see where that right marker is? That right marker is in the light field. Okay, just, it's outside the anatomy, but it's inside the collimated field. Now, on the other side of the spine, we have a left marker, and the left marker, as you can see, is just barely outside the collimated field. It's close, but it's not in the collimated field. Okay, so then we made some images, and I want to show you those images now. Our first contestant, Fuji CR System. This is a, a Fuji XC2 reader, and um, you know just the the usual Fuji software. Now look. Okay, of course the right marker, it's in the collimated field, it shows up real nice. What about the left marker? It was just outside the collimated field. Well, okay, as you can see, what I've done is some polygon um, shuttering here so that I included that marker, because originally it wasn't included. Now, if I window width and level this thing, I can't see that marker. Okay, so that marker didn't get enough exposure to be able to tell anything about it. So we don't know if that's a right marker, left marker, or whose marker it is. We don't know because it's just whited out. And there's nothing we can do about it. You know, uh, window width and level does not help. So with a Fuji system, be sure your marker is inside the collimated field. Contestant number two, an AGFA CR system. These are standard MD 4.0 general plates. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys have AGFA systems, but in case, this is what the plate looks like. Okay, the AGFA system is pretty sensitive. Um, originally, the shuttering did not include this left marker. What I did was I just got rid of the shuttering, and that way you can see the left marker. Okay, it's outside the collimated field. It is definitely visible. So on an AGFA system, it looks like, you know, whether your marker is in the light field or out of the light field, you're still going to be able to see it. You know, so what we could do is just apply. Um, you know, we could apply our polygon shuttering and include this marker, and we'd be okay. So with an AGFA system, if your marker is outside the field, maybe not a big deal. Last but not least, contestant number three. This is a, a Rayance DR plate, on um, flat plate uh, digital radiography. Now, this plate is really, really sensitive. So, the same technique that was relatively successful with the CR plates um, as you can see, this is badly burned out. I just wanted to show you that. Now, can we see our left and right markers? Yeah, absolutely. What I've done is I've just modified the post-process shuttering here a little bit, and you can see that the left marker is definitely visible. Okay. Um, what I wound up having to do was cut my technique back by a factor of six. Okay, so if I cut my technique by, by a factor of six, now my um, 
my exposure index is right on it's supposed to be about 1800 it's 2000 that's right in the middle here so this is a good exposure as far as the computer is concerned and I can uh, change my post-processing um, shuttering and I can include that left marker and as you can see it's very well demonstrated um, you can even see the balls in there okay so with the DR system the DR system is very sensitive so be careful of your technique you don't want to burn this thing out but um, you know you can if your markers in the field you're great if your markers outside the field then that's okay too you know it turns out you can see it either way okay so the upshot of all this seems to be that if you're using a um, system other than the Fuji system that we have you can put your marker outside the collimated field and it's still salvageable all right so that's all I've got for today uh, get out there take good care of your patients take some good x-rays and if you have any comments on things you've seen in the field as far as marker placement goes please comment down below uh, remember to like and subscribe for more and we'll see you next time on x-ray education have a great day